First thing I want to say is that happiness is not in any circumstance. Happiness is within ourselves. And yoga and beyond asana practice, meditation, and beyond meditation, the awakening and the circulation of our creative energy is to allow us to discover that happiness that is within ourselves and independent of any circumstance. And whatever our circumstance is, really is much more an expression of that the Hindu Buddhist word is our karma. My term for that is it's much more an expression of the disappointments that we have inherited from our ancestors. We've inherited some good things too. But the limiting factors are the factors that we struggle with. In time, all those limiting factors can be dissolved. But they are dissolved by the flow of creative energy within us and our capacity to make conscious contact with our own creative energy and in circulating that, dissolve the tensions which are the manifestation of you know, the, the limiting conditions, the disappointments of our ancestors. And, and it's literally, actually feeling in ourselves and feeling in ourselves and feeling in ourselves and holding our attention in these energy centers until really and truly they, ch they shift and they change. In time, as this transformation happens within us, it happens not just in our hearts and not just in our minds, it also happens in our body too. And there is, you know, now, all, I mean, I started teaching a non-dual spiritual tradition 40 years ago. Today it's all the rage, non-duality. Except that, you know, for the most part, what I see is the non-duality, which I bump into on the internet, is really, you know, a non-duality that ignores the body or it moves away from the body or beyond the body or something like that. When, in fact, we're not here to just enter into the realm of the mind and the energy. The body is ever-present. And the, our life experience, the field of our life, is ever-present. And it is the circulation of, our, of the energy in contact with, you know, we make contact with our bodies and the energetic mechanism and, the, and as the energetic mechanism opens and expands, it reveals to us our true nature, which is something like a balloon full of bubbles. The end point of this transformation is very simple. You know, you know, we'll change and change and change. Our life will change and change. Lots of things will happen. Some of it will, you know, a lot of it will be wonderful. Some of it will be difficult. A little of it might be outright unpleasant. So what? It's really you know, generations of tension that have rooted themselves in us being dissolved. But finally we get to a point where there's simply only two things. Gratitude 
because we have come to a place where we completely accept our life. Our life. The life, this life that we have. Whatever it is. We completely accept our life. And in that acceptance we can find gratitude. Because every life, and especially our lives, because all of us here together, I mean, all of us who are gathered here, and lots of other people, but, it's, but us too, we're, we're blessed. And rather than struggling with the tensions, let's dissolve them and be grateful for the blessings. And that gratitude expands and expands and becomes, you know, the bliss of unconditional love. Which encompasses every human being, which is full of great compassion for human beings and humanity and which is also full of amazement at the extraordinary circumstance that, you know, we even exist at all. I'm going to go away for a couple of months next week. I'm going to India. I'm going to a remote place in India, and I'm going to work. And I expect very big changes to happen within me because of this work that I'm doing. It is a work that I've been working on for about 12 years. And I'm expecting it to become completely mature at this point. And after that, and I'm really committed to that work. And I'm also committed to sharing that work with you and continuing to create a community of people who are capable practitioners dissolving the disappointments of their ancestors and discovering an ocean of gratitude that is ever-present in the core of our being. So I'll go there, and this is going to be the most intense trip I've ever made. It's the most intense place, it's the most challenging circumstance, it's the most intense work. Call me crazy. But I'm doing it to create the possibility that all of us can further our sadhanas and continue to unfold an unimaginable possibility which is otherwise not available for very many people at all on the face of the earth and especially in the West. So I hope while I'm away, you will continue your practice and your service, and I hope you will not forget to be nice to each other, because that's really important, and it makes everybody's life a little more fun. That's not to say that you aren't nice to each other. Generally, we wouldn't be here if we weren't being nice to each other. This would have gone away long ago, but let's remember it. You're a beautiful group of people, and I'm very grateful to 
have the opportunity to share my life and my work with you. Namaste.